Hello YouTube, this is Popping Your Gunners with a video on how to put Mac OS X on Windows 7, XP, and Vista the easy way. So, let's get into it so I can show you. Now, I was already logged on, I just switched, I clicked on switch user, whatever. Okay, so here we are, we're inside the Windows 7, except this is just... The Mac theme on it that's what it looks like so first you want to do is open up your browser I do recommend using XP I mean Internet Explorer is easier so um first thing you want to do is click on the first link in the description click on Vista Glass 2.2 and you're gonna click right here it says soft PDF media download when this loads you should see this download is starting at the top you should see a drop down this is on index explorer. explorer click on download file it should do a quick little refresh and then this should open up do you want to run save cancel what I did was I I ran it I didn't save I ran the file you could save it and then run it or you could run it it's your choice so then when that's done go over click on the next link which is snow transformation pack 1.5 it's going to redirect you to this which shows download stp 15 click on this save it so you can go to it later click on the next link it's called left cider what it is it enables your close maximize and minimize to be on the left side than the right side so what you want to do is the same thing as the other one. Click on the secure download US and then the menu is going to drop down. The menu is going to drop down and then you click on download. Do you want to save, open, or cancel? You click save so you can go to it later. When you're done with that, click on finder. Click on the next one. It's called finder bar. This is what it looks like. You are going to need it. I have it. Well, you're not really going to need it. It's just there to make it look more realistic. So what you want to do is click on downloads and it's right in the corner. You could miss it, it's hard, but it's right here. It's downloads 1.5. Click on save. When you're done saving. Go back to your desktop. Let me show you real quick. That's another thing. When you get to this, when you do install it, you, please, so it can look more realistic. If you want to, take off. Click on Show Desktop Items to take it on or off. So what you want to do first is extract, open up Vista Glass. If you ran it, it, it should just be a shortcut on the desktop. If you saved it, extract it, then run it. What you want to do is click on the first one is called system files it's going to ask you to patch files if mine is already patched so then it's going to restart please let it restart don't hit later or none of that just hit ok or restart it's going to restart if you're on xp or vista you are going to have to click on arrow style so you could get the effects and all that you do not have to restart so now what you want to do is click on STP 15 zip extracted these two shall open up snow transformation pack 1.5 and slang you don't really need this it's just there to, but do not delete or it's not gonna work click on snow transformation pack this should pop up click off of set x live default home page all it is going to set you at the home page. Click on next. Click on agree. Click next. Click. Now this is the part. Now there's usually three bubbles. What you want to do is click complete it. Don't click customize. Don't click perform. Click complete it. Click next. It's going to run through a setup and all that. When it's finished, click restart. Now if it asks you to resume, if it asks you to restart before you get to this menu, just restart it open up the application again and go through the phase make sure you click on complete it now when you're done 
and you get to this menu again click on show desktops and it's gonna hide it and then when it does pop up a window like this should be here this is what the window looks like it gives up all my information and what you want to do is click on configure you click on all these boxes then click apply configuration it's going to actually restart and stuff click on it and when it's done go into it it's going to pop up again but you can just close it when it's done and then you should get this bar so you could get the desktops control panel stacks all that now how to use left sider and finder bar first thing you want to do is extract go to your desktops extract the finder to your fi to the left it's going to create a file folder open up the folder now you're going to have leftsider.exe and readme click on left sider and then left sider.dll should open up and then when you're done with that click on desktops again to open up if you saved it to your desktops open up the um finder bar and then go through the installation and everything and then at the top you should have your finder bar that's what it looks like or if you don't see it go down to programs click on lands vermesser and click on finder bar engine drag that to your dock this is called the dock drag it to your dock so it can be easier when you start up your computer and left side drag both of these to your dock so it can be easier because you're not going to start up and that's it folks <laughs> mac OXX completed theme on windows 7 if you have any questions or problems leave a comment in the description I mean leave a comment below and if you need me to make a, another video on how to set up everything or just to verify everything I will talk to you or make another video um have a great time thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe